Well, I'm going to do another one here. I like these, okay? I'm, I'm going to load my channel up with YouTubes uh, and so I can get all those negative remarks. Uh, but we're not going to talk about Creoles this time. We're going to talk about uh, a lot of people. We're going to talk about mixed race people. Um, there are so many people out there that don't like us. I'm going to, I'm going to make you uh, mad. But uh, that's okay with me. I'd, I'd like to hear it. Um, my mother's blonde hair and blue eyes. And um, so are my sisters and a lot of my relatives. That comes with the territory. Um, my great-grandfather was a white man, and uh, he gave us all of his property, uh, and we have land because of him. Uh, my great-great-grandmother was a Choctaw Indian from Louisiana, and uh, my great-great-grandfather was a French Creole. So that's my heritage. All of my brothers and sisters, which I have eight of them, are all different colors. Uh, some are light and some are dark. But we were raised in Chicago. And when we were raised in Chicago, we were taught and we were raised as African-American people because that's all we knew. My mother was too embarrassed and ashamed to call herself a Creole before because she would be afraid of what the people in the African community would think of her if she said she was a Creole. So that's okay. We grew up as, uh, as, as African Americans. That's not a problem with that. So we learned the culture. But I got sick and tired of living in Chicago because it was so segregated and so racist. So I came out here to California. And I've been out here since 1966, 67. So that puts me out here about 42 years. And I've learned a lot since I've been here. I've been mixing with the East Indians. I've been mixing with Ethiopians and Asians and Vietnamese and Mexicans and Persians and uh, Chinese and Filipinos. And I could go on and on and on. And the funny thing about it is that they're all from another country. And it amazes me because none of my parents are from anybody place, any place else. They're all here. They're all American, New World born people. So when I see these people coming here, it amazes me because all of them just try so hard to try to make money off of us and they get that recognition that we should have been getting 200 years ago. And you know why I'm seeing that? It's because we're not sticking together. When people make that money, they disappear. Um, I'm not like that. You know, I've been promoting my culture every time I go somewhere. I wear a Creole shirt. I put Creole on the back of my car. You know, I let everybody know that I'm, I'm, I'm a mixed race person, and I'm proud of that. I put my money back in my community, and I do whatever I can to help, help people of my color, which there are not that many out here. Now, come on. I mean, is everybody doing that? Well, but then again, I ain't going to keep walking and talking on that because that's a different color and a different issue. But now, I can tell you that I've seen it all. I've associated with all kinds of people. And I've never had a problem with my life because I've been honest with myself. I mean, life is too short to be worried about what color you are. If you go to another country, if you go to Mexico, if you go to Brazil, if you go to Puerto Rico, if you go to some of the islands, uh, people look at you for the content of your character. Nobody's ever asked me what race I was. Uh, they're happy to see me the way I am because when I give them the service that they need, they're happy. They they, they don't look at me as a racial a, a, a racial thing. You know, they look at me as an individual. Now, I do admit my skin is not dark, okay? So I don't consider myself an African American because I don't look that black. But at the same time, it doesn't bother me. I go wherever I want to go. And if somebody doesn't like me, then I just move on and go someplace where I feel f feel welcome. I mean, I could care less about what somebody else is think. Somebody else thinks about the color of my skin. So, and, and I'm hoping you people out there are doing the same. Anyway, getting back on the subject of this mulatto stuff, um, we've been here forever, man. We, you know, we've been making a lot of contributions. Our women are beautiful. You know, our, our men are very productive, and uh, 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 we try hard. And, and I'm not saying anything negative against African American people because. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm of the African race, too. But, you know, we're all not the same people, man. We're not. You know, and I see that. You know, I see that wherever I go. 
and and it doesn't really matter to me but i just it hurts me to my heart to see that african-american people are not cooperating with one another we're not going anywhere hey you get these other people over here man they stick together and that's why they have things i mean some of these people haven't been over for more than 10 or 15 years and they got homes up in the hills they got millions of dollars in the bank and we've been here all our lives and, and and everybody's still fighting against each other you know you're taking your money and you're running put it back in your community if you want to bitch about what creole people are doing and what mulattoes are doing why don't you look in the mirror at yourself okay let's get it together and let's stop all of this animosity you know uh, white people are not responsible for what we're doing we're responsible for what we're doing so so let's not blame that. You know, that's a, that's an age old. That's a, a that's a long time thing of pointing the finger at somebody else. Look in the mirror and you'll see where you are. And I think you're the only person that can make yourself better. Thank you, and uh, and I hope you maybe might get something out of this. But I'm going to keep these videos coming because you know I, I just just don't feel comfortable with the society. And 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 I'd like to see a lot of us change it because we have the right to do that. I think if we stick together a lot more and appreciate each other and respect others, other cultures, we can go a lot further. I just hate to see us lagging like this when we deserve the best. For all my mulatto friends out there, for all my mixed race friends out there, my brothers and my cousins, I love you. Keep up the good work. For all you African Americans, I love you too. We're all one people, but believe it or not, we have to stick together. Have a good one.